That's part of the melody notes to the next part of the song. And I want to show you, like here in this part, how Earl just put pinches in. So again, you don't have to play constant rolls in these songs. You can break them up however you want with pinches or, or, um, or, or just leave a section out. You don't have to play constant, constant notes. That's the mel that's the straight up melody right there. Again, he's using forward rolls. Then he goes, you can go into that alternating thumb roll. just when he gets to tell you're just doing doing rolls to support to support that melody right there and you can think about maybe the guitar if you were a guitar player it would just maybe be a strum behind that melody note okay just a little lick. Again, the more licks you know, uh, the more licks you can put into a song. Not to say that you don't have to to make them really fancy. They, they, they sound good on their own. If you can bring the melody notes out, um, that's the most important thing to try to accomplish when you're starting out. just a little embellishment, a pull-off, which you don't really even have to put in if you don't want to. You maybe can do something like that. So again, just just sit down and pick out your favorite bluegrass tune and try to get the chords first and try to sing the song, you know, sing out loud if you want or if you can just at least hum it along in your head and again, try to find those melody notes. So, I mean, this is something you're going to have to practice uh, by yourselves. And it, it, it might come easier to some people, but um, usually it's going to take quite a while for you to, to, to get the hang of this. But it's, it's, if you make it a fun process, you'll, you'll come right along with it. And I have to say, too, once you get to the point where you can go out and go to jam sessions is really one of the best things you can do. Um, uh, once you once you start, you know, picking out these tunes and going to jam sessions, and people might be playing different tunes, and and that's where you can he start to hear some of the different chord progressions in these bluegrass tunes. And sometimes it's good to look at the guitar player and like when he changes formations with his left hand. At least you know that there's probably a, you know a chord change is going to happen there. And then later on you can you start to hear these things once you once you keep playing. The more you play, the better you get, you know, and that's that's the bottom line. So I'm gonna leave it there. I think we'll we'll try another one um, 
old gospel tune, I Saw the Light, and we'll try to pick that one out as well.